Leads are the lifelines of real estate professionals, and real estate speaker and coach Bob Corcoran says they should be treated like a gallon of milk, because all leads have an expiration date. So what exactly is a lead? A lead is anything that you haven't talked to yet. Okay, you must talk to a person in order to find out when they're looking to buy or sell a home. For example, I will classify an A lead as somebody who is looking to buy or sell a home in the next 30 days. A B lead is going to be defined as somebody who wants to buy or sell in the next 30 to 90 days. And a C lead is going to be everybody else beyond 90 days. So once you have classified all of your leads as A, B, or C, now it's important to know what to do with them. An A lead, the most important thing, always have an appointment set with your A lead. So when you're talking to them on the phone or you're replying to them on the internet, please ask them for the appointment. You cannot sell a home to somebody you do not have an appointment with. Think about that. Next time you're talking to somebody who's looking to buy or sell, if you don't close them for the appointment, you're never gonna help them. A B lead, remember, is classified as somebody who's looking to buy or sell a home in the next 30 to 90 days. So what do you do with the B lead? Well, number one, I really don't think it's worth your time to bring them into your office and meet with them face to face as they don't want to do anything right now. So let's put them into your database. Let's attach a drip email campaign so you can stay in touch with them. Also, let's schedule calls into your drip plan that will remind you to call the bee buyer twice a month. Matter of fact, why don't you just call them on the 1st and the 15th of every month? You'll see how we build a lead management system based upon a calendar month. Very simple. So remember, the B buyer, put them into your database, attach an email drip system, and remember, part of your drip system, you want to send people homes because that's what excites them. Now, a C buyer is somebody who wants to do something in 90 plus days. Again, doesn't make sense for you to bring them into your office and meet with them unless you need to practice your buyer presentation or unless you need to practice your listing presentation. So let's take that C buyer, let's put them into your database as well, let's put them into a drip system, and let's call them once a month on the 8th. So right away we call somebody on the 1st, your B's, on the 8th, your C's, on the 15th, your B's. How about this one on the 22nd? All your past clients in sphere of influence. So now you're calling somebody on the 1st, 8th, 15th, and 22nd. There is a very simple monthly lead management system that you can incorporate into your business today. As you classify your ABC leads, Bob suggests that you note where the lead came from, its status, and whether it's a buyer or seller. Thanks for joining us.